Hi guys, Tim here from Focusrite, and I'm going to take you through the incredible Flux Studio Session Analyzer and Sample Grabber plugins on offer as part of the Focusrite Plugin Collective. Now, if you're not aware about the Plugin Collective, head over there and have a look. There are loads of offers available. The link is below in the info section, and I'll also link to it at the end of this video. So firstly, I need to explain a bit about the format of the Studio Session Analyzer. There are two items, the Analyzer itself, which is a standalone application, and the plugin, the Sample Grabber, which sends the audio from your door through to the Analyzer app. So quickly, what I've done here in my session is switch off all my mastering plugins. Um, it's not entirely necessary, but I just want to hear the mix itself as it is without any extra processing to see if there are any problems. So then I need to load in my Sample Grabber plugin. And you'll see that my base name here is Tim. And then when I load the Studio Session Analyzer app, I need to click in the source section here and select the base name. And then you'll see the app come to life. So let's first talk about the sections of the analyzer. First up is the Nebula Spatial Spectrogram on the left here. This shows you a clear and concise view of the stereo field of your mix. The low frequencies being represented by the red graphic and the higher frequencies by the blue and purple. And this is a really handy tool, especially for mastering, because I can see exactly where the problems might lie, especially in the low end. So the bass here isn't quite as tightly monoed as I'd like it to be, and that could result in some confusion in the mix. So as a result, I go into my session, find the bass channel here, and change it from being a stereo channel to a mono channel. And then if we check back in the studio session analyzer, you'll see it's a bit of a tighter low end there, represented by a thinner line. You can also see that the track has a lot of stereo width, gradually from 200 hertz upwards. And around about 10K, it kind of calms down a little bit there. Next to the Nebula, we've got the Vector Scope, which again gives you a clearer view of how things are placed in your track. Now, if I switch everything to mono, you can see the difference. There's now a flat line in both the Vector Scope and the Nebula there to say that there is absolutely no stereo imaging at all. Next along the bottom is an RMS level meter and a peak level meter. Now put very basically, RMS gives you more of an average level based on what we can actually hear as humans. And peak gives you the actual value despite us not being able to particularly hear that level of detail. Finally, the classic spectrum analyzer here, which is not just a pretty looking thing, you can identify your peaks and by holding Alt and click dragging, you can zoom in on particular areas and you're served up actual data values when you hover the mouse over a certain peak, as you can see in this top section here. You can run this analyzer in a stereo combined spectrum as it is here, where the red graphics are indicating the low end frequency and the blue and purple are the high end frequencies. Or you can identify the left and right channel click on this icon, you'll now see green is the right channel and the blue is the left channel. And you can switch these on and off so you can actually see if there are any conflicting issues in either channels. Finally, there are four different layouts available and you can actually have a spectrogram, which is a slightly different visual representation of the frequency spectrum. And there is a wave scope in Studio C setting here. So you can see the actual waveform and in Studio D you get the full spectrum available to you. So that's a quick insight into the Studio Session Analyzer which hopefully shows you that it's an incredibly important tool to have when critically mixing audio. Head over to the Collective page now for more details by clicking on this link. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs>